In a year after two construction workers were killed on the side of a South Tulsa road, their families are finding closure. Two News reporter Joe Hankey live from the Tulsa County Courthouse, where 19-year-old Harley Stone is now in custody. Well, Karen, in court today, Harley Stone changed his not guilty pleas to guilty for all four charges he faces, including two first degree manslaughter ch uh, charges. Now a judge will decide his sentence, which could mean Stone spending the rest of his life in prison. Outside the courtroom, Harley Stone's family surrounded him as he entered a free man. But inside, he pled guilty to killing 46 year old Ronnie Blake Jr. and 48 year old Mike Turner on April 28th of last year. Today, he admitted as he left the roadway and ran over Blag and Turner, he was also high on several drugs. Minutes after walking into the courtroom, he exited in handcuffs in silence. The families of both victims in tears as they finally found a small amount of closure. Honestly, I said, amen, it's time. It's time. I'm so glad. I, we've all waited for this, you know, every month, and it's time. And his time should have been a long time ago. And Mike Turner's father says he can now do what is often the hardest thing to do after losing a loved one, forgive. I do now. It's, you know, it's, a, it's my Christian background. He, uh, he's owned up to his mistakes, and it's between he and his maker now. While one family forgives, another says, it's like you can forgive, but you can never forget what he's done. As they hope their loss is a pain other families never have to feel. I lost my soul, Wade. I loved him so much. They I have loved families. him so much, and, and grandkids, and my family, you know. Just take it easy. Don't do drugs. Don't be stupid. The families of the victims and also Stone now await the judge's sentence in the final chapter in this tragic story. Now we should correct this accident it took place in West Tulsa, not South Tulsa, as we reported there. Inside the courtroom today, not a single empty seat. Many of the people in there began crying as the judge started reading all of the charges Stone is facing. After each charge was read, Stone simply said guilty to each individual charge. He's now set to be sentenced on June 25th at 9.30 in the morning. Two News will be there to keep you updated. Reporting live from the Tulsa County Courthouse tonight, Joe Hankey, Two News works for you.